Peaches. So today I am going to be showing you how I created this look using the Morphe 350 palette. Um, I absolutely love this palette. I think the colours are just absolutely stunning. I absolutely love them. So yeah, if you like to see how I created this fun, warm, orange toned look, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm just going to get started. Um, this is basically going to be just about the eyes. I'm going to go away and do my face after and then come back and kind of um, just like a band stuff. So to start off, I'm going to use my MAC Paint Pot in um, Soft Ochre. As you can see, I have hit pan massively, but I do have a backup. I'm putting this on with the uh, Concealer Buffer Brush by Soeva. Um, if you see me looking over this way, it's because my mirror is there. Um, I've tried to do a bit of a different setup to make it easier to do tutorials. So fingers crossed, um, this works okay. So I have this on completely. Um, I love this because it also acts as almost like a concealer. Um, which is brilliant for hiding veins and um, stuff like that. So I'm just going to set it with um, just actually a bit of um, translucent powder again. I have massively hit pan on this but I do have a backup because this is my favourite one. So I'm just getting a big brush and dusting that over because it'll make the eyeshadow go on so much nicer if it's all set, uh, set on. Okay, so now that we kind of have our base down, I'm ready, excuse my skin, it has been breaking out quite bad lately. Um, we're going to move on to the eyeshadow. Of course, the whole palette of this look is the Morphe 350. Um, it is the most gorgeous palette ever. I absolutely love it. As you can see, it's got really orangey toned shadows and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. So my, the main kind of theme of this look is like a real warm, orangey, smoky eye. So to start off, because they don't have names, I'm going to start off with this colour. And I'm just going to get this on a big fluffy brush. This is the Makeup Pro Store number 19 brush. So I'm just going to pack it on to my brush, tap the excess off and blend into my crease and just above my crease. Don't worry if this is messy at the start, everything does come together um, in the end. We're using this as our transition colour just to blend everything um, together when we start using darker colours and um, stuff like that so it just makes the whole process a lot easier. What I like to do is I like to bring it quite far in and like kind of coming up to the brow in the inner corner so I always start at, start at the corners but bring it kind of up into the brow a wee bit. Um, I find this just opens up the eye a bit and just kind of gives that real nice smoky effect. Like that, so that's your kind of base so far. Hopefully you can see that. It's not coming up quite as um, dark on the camera as what it is in real life. Um, so hopefully you can see that okay. And then I'm gonna move on to um, kind of make it more orangey and kind of to define the crease a wee bit more. So I'm using a soft, uh, Lux Soft Definer Brush by Soeva. And I'm going to go in with this real orangey colour right here and I'm just going to get that and really drag it out through the outer corner, blend it in a bit and through the crease. As you can see this is a lot more orange tone. Make sure it's mostly concentrated on the outer corner and then kind of like blend it in a wee bit. What I like to do as well is to get the brush, the um, the blending brush before with no extra product and just keep um, blending out and round the um, darker colour just to make sure this all blending nicely into um, your transition colour. 
So something like that and again you can keep going in and building up the colour until you're happy with um, the how, how intense it is. And again I just like to blend it out with this brush. Just something like that so far. Um, kind of just making sure it's all nice and blended. There's no harsh lines and this is kind of the base so far. So then what I'm going to do is get the Morphe um, M330 brush, which is this tapered um, kind of blending brush. And then I'm going to grab this kind of ready tone brown. Oh, wrong one, this one. This kind of brown and um, bring this kind of more concentrated into the um, outer V and really into the crease. So what I do is I like to, but I find this this um, colour being a wee bit chalky. So um, what I do is tap off the excess just for um, fallout reasons and just kind of go into the corner. And I'll get it so you can see it this way. Go into the corner and just drag that through the crease. This just starts to darken it up and intensify it a wee bit more. And again, with your blending brush, just to blend everything together. As you can see, it's just deepened it up quite a lot and it just um, really, I think, brings it together. And then again, just repeat with the other side. But remember that it is a very chalky colour, so do definitely tap off the excess because it's so um, flaky. A tip with this one is, I find it easiest if you have your eye open and just really get it into your crease just to give it that kind of nice um, smoky effect. But with it also being in its right place and precise. Again, don't worry if it's messy at the minute. As you can see, it's all messy in here and a wee bit on the other side because we do plenty of blending. So what I'm gonna do is grab the very, very first light orange shade that we use in our transition and to just kind of blend all the edges out. So just like that, and again, you can go in with that brush and make it more intense or less intense. It's completely up to you. Um, what I'm actually going to do is with the same brush, I'm going to go in with one of these darker colours. I think I'll use this one. Uh, it's so hard to, to say the name, like to say what shadows because they don't have names. So I'm just going to go in with the tip of this brush, tap off the excess and really stay in the outer corner and just deepen that up a little bit. And then again, blend everything out. The key is just to keep blending and blending and blending and just make sure that it's on a brush with no other product on it and just literally blend everything out. Okay, so I'm gonna give you two options for the lid color. So basically I'll show you what I'm gonna start off with, but I am going to add glitter, which isn't on the 350 palette, but um, I will show you the first option. So. You have one of two options which I think look really really nice and I think it is that colour here which is absolutely gorgeous or this colour down in the bottom. The, the darker colour is definitely for people who can pull off like the darker smoky eye which I can't. So I'm going to go for the lighter uh, champagne colour which is just gorgeous. These two colours in this palette actually really remind me of the Makeup Geek Foil shadows. Um, so I think they definitely apply best on my finger and I'm, what I'm going to do is just look down and just rub this like how gorgeous is that over the lid and then with your clean finger I like to blend it in so again just look down and apply it in the lid I only apply it oh, like about half of the way into the lid because um, I do like to have the, the darker outer corners um, so yeah, this is your first option of the lid colour, which I think is absolutely gorgeous and I would definitely wear this out, but I love a little bit of glitter, so I think I'm going to add some. Okay, so today I have chosen to use this um, like coppery gold glitter from Helen E. Um, although I've pulled off the name of it, so I don't know the name of the glitter, but it is just this gorgeous, like kind of rusty glitter like it's not absolutely gorgeous so I'm going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance or glitter glue sorry 
Um, it's definitely the best glitter glue I have used. Although the Helene glitter glue is really, really nice as well. Um, but today I've chosen this. So I'm just going to get a wee Kira Daily um, makeup brush and dip it into the the uh, lash or the glitter glue, which is on the back of my hand. Look down and apply this over the champagne color because this is where I want to put my glitter. So I've just kind of dabbed that in and then I'm going to get the same brush with the wee bit of glue left over. Just dip it in to the glitter and just dab this on. Which I am just obsessed with. Just like that, like how gorgeous is that glitter. And don't worry about the fallout on your face. This is why I did do my eyes first and then my foundation last because um, I definitely think that you need to be able to wipe your face off after. I have been obsessed with glitter lately and everybody whose makeup I've been doing for nights out or formals or whatever have been asking for glitter. So I thought it was very appropriate to add some in. So I just like to double check that both eyes are kind of even with the glitter. So this is the look so far. So I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, liquid liner on. I was thinking about doing um, maybe a tutorial on how to do liner and um, different liner looks. So if you want to see that, please um, comment down below. I'm just getting a wee wet wipe just to clear up the glitter underneath my eye because, sorry, because glitter is very messy. Like that is the only thing with glitter. I love it but it is so messy, like you will find glitter everywhere for days. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that's the liner done um, for both eyes. I just love liner, I, I never go without it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a wee bit of mascara, lashes, and then um, I will do my face makeup and come back for the lower lash line because I always do that after I do my concealer and foundation and stuff. And I don't want this to be really, really long because I do have a foundation routine up. So if you want to go check that out, please do and I will be back in a minute. Okay, so that is my lashes on. Um, I just used uh, lashes that I use on my clients. They're my favorite type of lashes. I will link them down below. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's with the lashes on so far. I absolutely love this so far. So yeah, I'm going to go quickly and put my foundation, bronzer, blusher, all of that stuff on and then come back for the uh, bottom lash line. Okay, so I am back. So now to move on to the smoky lower lash line. I'm just grabbing the big fluffy brush and the gain, the first color that we went in with. I'm just getting that on the brush and tapping off the excess. I'm just going underneath. I'm really blending this out. This um, can come down as far as you want or you can skip this step if you don't want to make it like super smoky. This makes a lot of people's eyes water, including mine, so just be careful when you're doing it. This is literally, it won't show up massively, but it will just give you again that kind of um, transition into the next darker colour. So as you can see, it just gives like a nice bit of smokiness. So just something like this, um, it just gives you um, a nice bit of smokiness. Just make sure that they're both even like that. So then I am going to get, if I can find the brush that I'm looking for, I'm just going to get this um, wee kind of small, I don't know, even know what, what way you would describe it, small brush with the bright orange colour. Tap it off and again just go closer into the lash line right the way along, which just makes it a wee bit more intense right from the outer corner right in and sometimes what I find that if I do this and um, I can see like a bit of a, like a harsh line although today I can't but I'll show you what I would do anyway I just get the fluffy brush and just blend it all together again I don't get any extra product I literally just um, blend everything and get together again and if I feel I've lost a bit of colour I go back in with a wee bit more orange 
and just kind of blend that back in. So you can leave this here if you don't want it to be like super smoky. If you want it to be just like a warm soft smoky look. But what I like to do is I like to go in with the darker colour here. Just with a, a kind of like pointed and um, flat shader brush. It's a Polly McGargan um, number 20 brush. I just get that on the tip of it, tap it off and push this right into my lash line. Again, if you like an even smokier look, you can put black in your waterline and buff that out, but I just can't pull that off, so I'm just going to go as this kind of smokiness, and again, just blend that out with the brush that you had the orange with. So it just like makes it like a little bit more smoky than what it was before, so I'm going to do that to the other eye. Okay, so that is basically this look done, apart from the lips. Oh, another thing that sometimes I like to do is to go in with the colour that I give you the option of using on the lid at the start, that nice kind of champagne colour. I just get this on a small pointed brush and put this into the very corners of my eye just to kind of um, open them up a wee bit and give them like a little bit of a glow. Um, but again, you can completely miss this step out if you don't think uh, you want it. And just blend that in. So just like that, you can use this as a highlight as well on your brow bone, um, but I don't want anything too harsh on the brow bone because again it is quite a dramatic look. Um, so for the lips, what I'm going to do is, I know it's not really about the lips, but I'll show you what I would pair with this eye anyway. I would pair a, like a nudie brown lip. So what, what I'm going to do is line my lips with Spice uh, Lip Liner by MAC. Then I'm going to mix two uh, lipsticks together. First I'm going to get Whirl, which is like a dark brown, like that. And then I'm going to mix a wee bit of Velvet Teddy on top. Hopefully you like it. I absolutely love it. Again, I just think the glitter gives it a little bit um, extra um, specialness. So if you are going on like a glam night out, I love this look so much. But if you were just wanting to wear it every day, you could go completely matte or you could just stick with the champagne colour that I had previously on the lid. So yeah, this is the way that I wear this look. I absolutely love it. I love the warm tones, especially with like pretty much any eye colour I think can really pull off warm um, tones and just nice fun lashes and a bit of liner. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you like this. If you would like to see a tutorial on the Mani MUA, um, palette from Makeup Geek please let me know down below because I would really really love to show you how I like to wear that palette so yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye